So, Boxer, right now, with quite a bit of economic loss, as we can see that he did lose 200 more units, 200 minerals worth more units than General. And another scan going down. General loses another Banshee, and that was quite a blunder right there. Good job by Boxer on that scan, seeing that the Banshee was there. Now Boxer does realize that SCVs are rallying to this point, that General does have this gold expansion. But the missile turrets will ward this away. Bo uh, General's units are out of position right now, so Boxer, if he decides to land his units, could try to engage and take out a bunch of SCVs, but does instead does not do such. General right now looking like he is in a pretty good spot. If we look at the income, we have General with quite a bit of resources ahead of Boxers. And General, using the famous little one strategy, gonna be putting down the nu uh, missile, a nuclear launch right now, but Boxer does not unsiege his tanks. Instead, General decides to engage, even though Boxer does not take his unsiege his tanks, and this army of General is actually being wiped out, but significant losses for Boxer as well. And uh, the, he does have an, uh, an infantry line over here. Ghosts are going to work with that snipe, but they get taken out. Boxer on the retreat at the point at the moment. D General does not have his concussive shells. If he did have the concussive shells for the Marauders, he would be able to basically kill off all those retreating Marauders as they would be slowed down. Boxer in the lead with the Harvesters right now and tying up in income. But looking like he is actually in a pretty firm position of the, in this match with more siege tanks on the way, more infantry, more reinforcements coming out. Jinra on the other hand, we have another starport going down, still producing Banshees from his starport over here. Banshee now also going into Boxer's main. How many kills will he get with this Banshee? There's already a turret down, so this Banshee is not going to be able to do too much damage on the mineral line. Banshee cloaks, does he scan? Boxer does not scan inside, instead decides to leave that Banshee alone. Banshee makes it out with 30 health. Now the thing with for Jinro is that Boxer has already started his siege tanks. And Jinro is still looking like he is in a an infantry position. And Boxer actually sending in his own his own Banshee to General's mineral line. Holds position over here. Gonna be taking out these SCVs that get anywhere close to this area. This missile turret isn't able to reach over here. And General doesn't have much in terms of anti-air. He only has three three marines to defend against this banshee and the banshee so much damage and one viking comes out and more marines on the way it's stemming up they will take down this banshee and boxer that was quite a little bit of a blunder there could have taken out those marines boxer going to work on this gold expansion with another banshee the general making an expansion at the other gold but this banshee doing so much economic damage at this point this banshee getting six kills already General's three Vikings on the way, scans, but will not be able to kill this Banshee. And actually, will he be able to kill it? No, he, he is not able to kill it. General's still chasing, however, decides to retreat afterwards. Boxer, does he know about this new expansion that is going up? No, he does not know, but the turret kills him. So now he will have an idea that General is taking this expansion because of the turret that was placed here. Boxer decides that he is going to push out, avoids the army at the Zelnaga Towers. General actually moving his army out of position. This could be very bad for General. This could be so detrimental. He's going to try to destroy these rocks. Realizes the Boxer is moving in on the south side to his net, to his main, and the gold expansion over here. Setting up camp, sieging up at his main, at his gold expansion at the entrance to his main so that units over here can't come out. Units over here can't attack over here because of this high ground. And General instead gonna try to be taking out Boxer, going straight for Boxer's main. Command center lifts up, Banshee's going to work, two Banshees here to, to defend for Boxer. I think Boxer will be okay from this push by General. Meanwhile, Boxer is doing some sick economic damage to General, taking out most of his, most of his unit producing structures. These structures have to lift off. General will not be able to produce units for a while. These two Banshees are going to be doing, are going to be defending over here. Ghost doing 
EMP on the bench. He's trying to take out the cloak. But a lot of C a lot of two siege tanks here, a lot of infantry here, and SCVs to repair. Jinro is deflected off. He's going to have to return back to his base, try to defend over here, secure this position. But Boxer with several siege tanks, three siege tanks over there with over here. He should get his infantry over here to defend against this infantry push. But General stimming, but does not go in. Decides that he will not go in. Instead, putting down a nuclear launch. Now, these siege tanks have to unsiege and get out of position. And we saw the little one do this in the match against Hyperdub, where he cancels the nuclear launch and then rushes in to try to take out the tanks. But Jinro is too late. The tanks are able to set up siege on the high ground with the infantry protecting it. And at this point, we have 8 harvesters for Jinro and 39 harvesters for Boxer. Boxer did get his expansion taken out, but he can obviously relocate his main base to this expansion right here. Or, as he is doing right now, he is taking down the destructible, destructible rocks. And actually, Boxer did not lose his main base, his expansion rather. And Boxer right now going to be cleaning up these supply depots over here. General already in the red supply. Going to have to remake these supply depots. And that is going to set him, set him back tremendously at this point. And Boxer with a huge 156 to General's measly 64 supply lead right now. Boxer looks like he is going to be taking this game. I don't see any way that General can come back from this game from this ridiculous economic deficit right now. And Boxer now decides that he is going to push and engage on these unit producer structures over here. General loses these. That is pretty much the end of the game as he will not be able to get back any units. And right now, I don't think that it matters regardless of how many units he produces because he does just not just does not have the economy for it. He is mining off of the gold expansion but hasn't taken down these rocks. These SCVs have to travel so far to get to this command center and General just waiting, trying to flank these tanks. He is going to be flanking these tanks in a last effort. Going to be destroying these tanks but the reinforcements of the infantry will cause General to lose this game and indeed he does GG. Well played by Boxer. General we saw going for that Banshee harass in the beginning, but Boxer holding down supremely well and really a great reversal with his own Banshees doing so much economic damage. That one Banshee did had so many kills in Boxer's main and the other Banshee had at least 8 SCV kills before being deflected by those Vikings. And well played by Boxer, looking forward to his third game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned.